In Scotland, men who have sex with men are most at risk of contracting HIV. In fact, sexual contact between men accounts for 71% of HIV cases recorded in Scotland since 2004. Although there's no cure for HIV, it is still better to know if you have HIV or not. Knowing helps keep yourself and others safe. The best defence against HIV and other sexually transmitted infections is to use condoms and lube properly every time. That way, you significantly reduce the risk of infection. But the only way to be sure that you don't have HIV is to have regular tests, and that's why I've come here. Many of us don't want to think about HIV, but if you put yourself at risk, taking a test is the only way to rule it out. No one wants to discover that they're HIV positive, but it is better to know so you can start to take control of your health and stop HIV from damaging your immune system. Starting treatment early gives it a greater chance of success. That way, most people who are living with HIV can live a near normal life expectancy. It's not difficult to take a test, so it's surprising that some of us put it off or don't even bother. There are drop-in clinics all over Scotland, like this one, where you don't need to make an appointment. All testing clinics are anonymous. Your details will only be shared with health professionals and will never be passed on without your consent. So what can we do for you today? Can someone have an HIV test please? Sure. You can talk to a doctor or nurse who will explain what's involved and listen to your concerns. And the test itself is easy. Okay, here you go, I have a seat. I'll take that for you. Thank you. Good. Good. You have blood taken before? Yes. Okay. It's going to pop a tourniquet on there. That's great. How are you, Jag? That's fantastic. Let's put that in there. Yeah, well done, thank you very much. Within a couple of weeks you'll get a call about your results or you might be asked to come back to the clinic for your results. Some clinics might be able to give you a result while you wait. A few clinics also offer rapid testing, so check with your local centre if it does. So Steve, if the result came back positive, does that mean I have AIDS? Well, if you're, if you're healthy and well with a good immune system when you get a positive test, then with current treatment you're very unlikely to get AIDS. The, the aim of treatment is to keep you well uh, and so you should expect a long and healthy life and drawing your pension. And if the result was positive, what's available to me? We have specialist nurses working here who can give you support and we've got lots of literature. There's uh, websites we can connect you with and there's over 25 pills now, 25 drugs we can use for treating HIV. Um, we can usually find something that suits everybody, many people need a lot of support, maybe counselling, to get to grips with what can be a pretty pretty tough thing to, uh, to be told. Obviously, it's better to test negative for HIV. But if you get a negative result, it doesn't mean that you're immune to HIV. So unless you're having no sex whatsoever, one test is not enough. And coming in person to a centre like this is the only reliable method of testing. How often should I get tested? In some cases, it can take up to 12 weeks for HIV to become detectable in the blood. So we recommend people get the tests quite frequently, every six months or so. Every six months? Just like going to the dentist, really? A six monthly checkup? Well, ex exactly, yes, and no one minds going to the dentist. If you'd like to know more about HIV testing, visit hivwakeup.org.uk to find your nearest testing centre.